Hello friends and welcome back to Mrs. Borton's basement. This week we've been talking about suffix ed. Suffix ed, a suffix is um, a little part of a word, just a few letters that's added to the word at the end and it gives meaning, gives new meaning to this word. And we talked about that suffix ed is added to the end of a root word. It can make three sounds. It can say id, it can say d, or it can say t. So when you put the ed at the end of an action word, a verb, if you put that ed at the end of this action word, it's going to give it meaning that, make, me, that makes that word or that action happen in the past. It already happened. So I could jump today, but yesterday I jumped. I could um, crash. I could crash my bike. Yesterday I crashed my bike. So you're gonna be, we're going to be looking at this pattern, the suffix, these two letters E and D that we get that get added to the word. And today we're going to be doing some dictation or writing words and sentences. And we've got this plus sign and a circle. And that means we have this base word, but we're adding, that's a plus sign, we're adding a suffix to change that meaning a little bit to an action word. So today, your materials that you need, you need a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, a pen, something to write with. It'd be great if you got a, could have a pencil in case you need to erase. If you do not have those materials at home, you can still do this lesson with me by just calling out the letters as we go along, okay? Um, moms and dads and grandparents, anybody that's supervising today, babysitters, older brothers and sisters, if you could help your child, your student, set up their paper to look like this before we get started, you can pause the video and do that for them. But students, if your parents are busy, don't bother them because you can just make these marks on one side as we go along and then write a line for the perfect side today. We're only doing four words today in one sentence. And so today um, we'll, we'll practice on this side because I've got all of our clues set up for our sounds on this side and then we'll rewrite our, our sentence perfectly, or our words perfectly over on the other side. Okay, go ahead and get set up, and here we go. Our first word has just two sounds. Just two sounds, so you need two sound lines, but look at this last sound. It gets two minis. That means that we're gonna have an ending blend, an ending blend. Then give yourself a plus and a circle for the ED. Okay, here we go. This word is acted. Yesterday, I acted out a play. I acted out. Maybe you just acted out because you were being bad. Oh, I can't imagine you were doing that. Acted. Now let's take a look at that root word first and just do the root word. Without the ED, it would be act, act. So let's get our fist. If you're uh, left-handed, you're gonna be pounding with your right hand. If you are right-handed, I want you to pound with your left hand. And we pound and we pound, and then we tap our fingers for each sound, and we tap the way that we read from left to right. Here we go. The first word, let's do act first. Act. Act. Now I only use two fingers. Act because I only need two sounds. Act. Let's let's see how you did. Mm -hmm. It seems to be locked up. Here we go. Here we go. Did you get an A for the A ah sound and the kt. CT for kt. If you did, you're doing great. Now, this word was just not act, it was acted, acted. Remember, we talked about that ed at the end can make t, -t. if it's t, t it's just breath, act, whoops, I'm sorry. If it ends with a d or a t sound, we're gonna use the id, so ed, I heard act id. So write ed in that circle, acted, and then rewrite
write it all together on the perfect side. If you wrote A-C-T-E-D, I want you to put it all together as one word. Yesterday, I acted out. Good job. Whew. It's a lot to think about today. All right, number two, you need one, two, three sound lines. The first one gets a squiggle. The first sound line gets a squiggle. That's a diagraph. So be listening for two letters that come together, come together and make one sound. And then you need a plus and a circle for that suffix. Here we go. I made a um, kind of like a pie that needed to go in the freezer yesterday. So I needed to chill it. But yesterday I chilled that pie, chilled that pie. So I heard that root word chill. So let's do that first. Chill. Ch I -o. Chill. Ch -i -o. Chill. See how you did. Did you get that CH? Ch -ch. And that I, scrunchy nose eye, I. How'd you do for this sound? O. Did you think of Sammy? The one, one, one Sammy rule? Because that O needed two L's. Awesome, if you got that, good thinking. If you didn't, that's okay, we're still learning. Just go ahead and fix it, make it two L's. All right, here's our word for today, but we did this yesterday, we chilled the pie. So what do we need here? I heard that O, that voice sound, so I need a, the, suffix that goes d. It's not just a d, it's an ed. So we have to be really thinking about how we're using that action word and how it showed up in the past because that wasn't a d, it was a, it wasn't just a d, it was the d that said ed. It was the ed that said d. Oh, I'm really messing up my words today. All right, rewrite that over on your perfect side. Chilled, chilled. I'll give you a second to do that. C-H-I-L-L-E-D. All right. For number three, we need three sound lines. A squiggle is on the last sound line. Mm, another diagraph. You need a plus sign and a circle. All right. Today, I wish on a star. Last night, I wished on a star. Wished. Did you hear that t sound? But don't let that trick you on this word because it's not a T. It's the T that you hear and the suffix that comes at the end of a root word because this word ends, oh, I already gave you the first clue there, ends with a sh an unvoiced sound. So wished is our word, but let's do the root word, which is wish. Let's pound it. Wish, what, i, sh, wish. I already told you the first sound was W. Wish, what, i, sh, wish. How'd you do on the rest? Did you get an I? How about that diagraph? If you got an SH, you did a great job on that. But this word didn't happen today, it happened yesterday. It was wished. And I can't put a T there because I gave you a clue that that T sound is actually the ED. If you wrote wished, W-I-S-H-E-D, go over to the side of your paper and write it all together so it looks like that, wished. Now this time, we know this is an ED. Let's see if we can figure out what sound it's making. Is it going d or t or id? And let's think about why, what happened here that made it make that sound. All right. When I go to bed at night, I don't like my pillow to be very flat. I have to fluff it up. I fluff it up. Last night, I fluffed 
my pillow fluffed it had a suffix at the end but the root word I forgot to tell you you also need two minis on that first sound line three sounds and a mini a plus sign in a circle fluffed the root word was fluff so let's do that first get your hand ready make a fist fluff full a uh, fluff full a uh, fluff how'd you do did you get fl for that blend these two minis told you that that was two words that come together and blend you can pull them apart but they make one sound uh was you and what about here fluff Did you remember Sammy? You had to double up those L's. The one, one, one doubling of the F sound. I said, I think I just said L. F. F L U F F was our root word. But remember, this had a suffix fluffed. I hope you're not putting a T there. Even though I hear a T, 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 t it's actually the E D so that I did it in the past. Let's rewrite it over on the perfect side. F L U F F E D. Great. When you finish that, go ahead and turn your paper over to the other side. And you might pause your video for a second. Pause your computer or your iPad, whatever you use, maybe your phone. And let's get our sentence set up. You need one, two, three, four, five lines. The first one's a double line. You need a mountain at the beginning and a square at the end. You don't have to mess with that part. Okay, Moms or dads or whoever is <clears throat> helping out today, one, two, three, four, five words, five lines. The first one gets two lines. You need a triangle for a mountain and a square at the end. The triangle tells us what? Yeah, you need uppercase letter to start off every sentence. The square, you need some kind of punctuation at the end. You need two lines when we have a sight word, a tricky spelling word, something that doesn't make sense. And every word after that, the last four words are sound out words. I want you to pound and tap. So one time my friend Pat came over and we were having lunch and I went to the kitchen to get, whoops, I went to the kitchen to get our salads for lunch and all of a sudden Pat kind of yelled out because a spider had come down off the ceiling of, our, of my back porch, come down and scared her and she yelled. And when she yelled, I jumped up and almost spilled the salads off the tray. So my sentence today is, I jumped when Pat yelled. I jumped when Pat yelled. Here we go. We're gonna clap it, put your hands together. I jumped when Pat yelled. Let's clap it again. I jumped when Pat yelled. One more time. I jumped when Pat yelled, take your fingers and tap your head. I jumped when Pat yelled. Let's take one finger and tap our spaces. I jumped when Pat yelled. Pause the video and go ahead and write it. I'll give you a second to do that. All right, I hope you just turned the video back on. And here we go, let's check our work. This first word was what? I, yeah, it's a sight word. And don't forget, it needed an uppercase I. You need uppercase I. That word always is uppercase. So that should have been easy to remember, even with our triangle. Uppercase I, uppercase I. I begins with an uppercase I. Good job. All right, the next word was jumped. 
jumped. Oh, I think I hear a suffix at the end of that word. It happened already. So I'm gonna take that suffix off and just do the word jump first. Jump, j, a, m, p. And then it ended with a p. That tells me it is unvoiced p. So that suffix was making a t sound. All right, did you write jump, J-U-M-P, and then put the suffix E-D, because it happened already? That E-D was going t. That is tricky. Jumped. I jumped when. Let's pound it. When. W-E-N. I bet some of you might have gotten this one incorrect, and that's okay, because that's what learning is all about. Did you remember, this was one of those question words, and so the what was the digraph, W-H, and then the E-N. If you didn't get that, go ahead and fix it right now, because when you write it perfectly, you want the W-H digraph in that word. I jumped when pat, pat, p-a-t. Did you remember that pat is somebody's name? It's a proper noun, darling. Did you give it uppercase P, A, T? You need an uppercase letter at the beginning of this sentence and in the word pat because it's a proper noun. Somebody's name. I jumped when Pat yelled. She did this already. So it had a suffix at the end of that word, yelled yell d. I'm going to take that d sound off and just do yell first. Yell. Y e o. Yell. And then I have to remember to put that suffix on it that made the d sound. Yell ended with a voiced o. So I'm going to use the d. But it's not a d. It was the e d. Y e Oh, you had to remember a couple things in this. Sammy rule. Did you put two L's in yell? Yeah, oh, two L's that make that L sound. And then the E-D. Good. There's one more thing we had to remember. That square told us to kiss a period. Did you kiss a period at the end of your sentence? All right. I want you to go ahead and rewrite this sentence perfectly with finger spaces in between each word, uppercase, uppercase, and a period at the end. Your parents or anybody in the room can check for capitalization. Have them read the sentence to you. Did you understand what you wrote? Did you kiss a period at the end? And then check each word to make sure it's spelled correctly. Thanks for working with me today. You guys have a great day. Get outside and play.